Yes, I'm Chris Mason on DA. Well, today we have a Toyota 7M cylinder head in our oven. We're going to take and straighten this thing out. Uh, before we tighten this down, the cams would rock back and forth quite a bit. I'd say probably about mm, 80 thousandths anyway from end to end. So that was not so good. So we've got it clamped down and it seems to be fairly straight now. And we're going to go ahead and go through the heating process, which should relax the head. We'll come back and check it for straightness one more time. And then we'll uh, take it out. And we'll finish up the resurface on the thing. We're all done. All right, it's been in the oven for about an hour. It's nice and toasty. And we'll let this cool down overnight. And then we'll come back tomorrow and have a look and see how we did. All right, well, we're back in the shop this morning. We'll let this thing sit overnight. We'll go ahead and get it off the plate. Get it loosened up in the way. Grab one of the cams. I'll grab both cams and let's see what we got left here to do. Well, as you can see, we still got a little bit of rock in here, so we're gonna have to probably do this at least once or twice more. So, anyway, back for round two. Okay, well we're back again. We actually had to uh, do this a couple more times to get it to where I think it's going to work. So this one's up. Well, anyway, this is just uh, one way to uh, straighten out a cylinder head, and it's the best way we've found anyway. I've actually seen people use a hydraulic press to straighten heads and generally wind up with a two-piece head after it's all done. Anyway, John Costa Mesa R&D, we'll see you soon.